What's up, my psycho crew? It's me, Rosie the Rascal here. The crazy version of Amy. Well, not crazy anymore. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a game of Would You Rather. And, yes, it is a little bit weird seeing me actually host a video. Well, you see, Flame and Sarah, they're actually not in Mobius right now. Right now, they're in the Supersonic X universe. Universe. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're actually attending the God Ceremony. Believe it or not, Sarah Dragonhog has finally completed her God training, and today is the day she's going to become a goddess. So the next time you see Sarah, she will be now a god. She will be a goddess. The only problem is, is that she doesn't know what title she's going to have. Like Flame, he's the god of power. Then there's the god of uh, you know, water, the moon, the sun, and all sorts of others. She just doesn't know what titles that she can have yet. I mean, she has, I mean, believe it or not, she has to pick a title. She has to pick a title, but the rule is she can't pick a title that's already been taken, which is going to be pretty hard for her, but don't worry. With Flame's intellect, I'm pretty sure he can help her with, come up with something. Uh, flame, flame, flame. That's all I hear. Um, who the heck was that? <laughs> Why don't you turn around? What the? Scourge! What the? I thought you were in Anti-Mobius! How the one did you get here? <laughs> you forget it. Flame wasn't the only- Flame's not the only one who has portal rings, you know. Ah, dang it. Something should have told me I should have confiscate- I should have confiscated your portal rings so you couldn't follow us. Yeah. Anyway, the reason why I'm here is to take back what's rightfully mine. Listen, Scourge, for the millionth time, we are not going back to you. You treated us like garbage. Huh. <laughs> but I changed. I changed. You actually changed? Yeah. And yeah, instead of just asking people for what I want, I take it. So you... Buns, Alicia, and Fiona, you guys are coming back to Anti-Mobius with me, and you're going to be my queens, whether you like it or not. No, Scourgey. No, I'm not. Oh, come on, Rosie. Think about all the good times that we had. I mean, that little game of cat and mouse that we played. Scourge, those days are over. I moved on. It's about time for you to move on, too. <laughs> I can never move on, as long as I'm still trying to be the king of my Mobius. Well, remember, you can't be the king until you find a queen. And the way you are, I doubt if anybody wants to be your queen. <laughs> You're forgetting. There's multiple different universes. Don't forget, this world and anti-Mobius aren't the only Sonic verses here. I'm pretty sure there's lots of other Sonic girls out there that would love to be the queen of Anti-Mobius. Yeah, but not the way you'll treat them. Plus, not to mention, the way you treat me? Come on! I mean... I mean, we had a good run. We had a good run. That is, until Flame finally opened my eyes and revealed your true colors. You only just use people just to get what you want. I mean, you literally used me, you used Alicia, you used Fiona, and you used Buns! You used almost every single girlfriend that you were with, Scourge. For what? All because you're trying to be the ruler of Anti-Mobius. That's not what a ruler is. A ruler is somebody who does what they can for the people, not for themselves. That's what I call weak. Anyway, are you coming with me or not? No, I'm not. Okay, you know what? I'll make a deal with you. I was just about to play a game of Would You Rather. Oh god, not this crap again. No, hear me out. Alright, I'll cut a deal with you. If I win, I stay here. I stay here. But if you win... <sighs> I go back to Anti-Mobius with you and be your queen. No argument. <laughs> you actually will? Yes, I will. <laughs> this is going to be one easy game then. 
let's begin. All right, fine. Now, if you guys want to see more Would You Rather videos, hit that like button and let me know in the comment section which Sonic character should we bring on next. And also, let me know if you guys want me to bring Scourge back onto the channel. Also, if you guys want me to host another video, please let me know in the comments down below. I know it's been a long time since you guys saw me. I know it's been a really long time. But anyway, but anyway, without further ado, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing started, please. <laughs> yeah, the sooner we get this over with, and who is that foxy mama on Flame's phone? Uh, that's his anti-self. Ugh, gross. Ew. Hey, don't make fun of Flicker. I actually met her. She's really nice. Plus, not to mention, the reason why she's black like that, she's stuck in her edgelord form, and she can't get out of it. <laughs> well, sucks to be her, then. Anyway, let's just get this thing started. Okay, so, would you rather know who hates you, or know why people hate you? Hmm, <laughs> well... I obviously don't know why people hate me. I'm awesome. I mean, I'm pretty much one of the most awesome versions of the blue idiot there is. No, you're evil, Scourge. And everybody knows evil people are not awesome. I mean, if people thought that evil people were awesome, <laughs> people would be respecting Eggman. <laughs> why must you talk about that, fool? Well, it is true. Anyway, um... I did have a lot of haters back then. I did have a lot of haters. But I'm good now. I'm actually good now. I got a great job working at Bunny's Restaurant for a little while. And, well, I earned me a lot of great rings. Everything's all good. Anywho, anywho, uh, I guess I would like to know who hates me. <laughs> I would really like to know why people hate me. Oh, I can think of many different reasons why people hate you. I mean, you're rude, you're bossy, plus not to mention you steal, and you beat people up for no apparent reason. Huh, come on, name one, come on, name one person I beat up for no apparent reason. Really? You literally beat Miles up all because that your plan failed. And you took his, and you literally took your anger out on him. I must feel bad for him. Oh, come on. He's Miles. My little buddy. My whipping boy. Of course he's gonna pull through this. Uh, anyway, I'm picking the blue option. Whatever. I'm picking the red. What the? <laughs> oh, boy. 67% agree with me on this one. I'm one step closer to finally getting my queen. Uh... Anyway, let's just continue. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so, would you rather control the emotions of those around you, or control the weather? Hmm. Well, controlling the weather, that would be pretty cool. I'll be like Storm from the X-Men. Hmm. I mean, having wind powers, I mean, having wind powers, ocean po I mean, water powers, rain, lightning, that would be awesome! So yeah, I think I would control the weather. <laughs> I would rather control people's emotions, so that way they could be like me. Scourge, I highly doubt anybody would want to be like you. <laughs> my son or my daughter would. You don't have a son or daughter. I will, once you get back to anti-Mobius. Please, I would never do it with you. I mean, I mean, that's how you literally met Fiona. That's how you literally decided to go with Fiona. We only did it once, and you know, you, I, you couldn't please me, so. Okay, that's a little bit too much information there. But who cares? I'm pretty sure all these people know what the heck we're talking about. Yeah, but this is a family-friendly show. Do you think I give a crap? Anyway, as for me, like I said, I will control people's emotions. Because I can just make people sad or just basically happy. Make them lo make them, oh, I don't know, weak and helpless and lower their guard. Which makes me move in for the final attack. <laughs> wow, you have not changed at all, Scourge. Anyway, let's see. 
And it looks like 59% agree with me on this one with having storm powers. <laughs> Besides, I'm pretty sure most people won't want to, you know, control people's emotions. Some people say that's a really dangerous power. <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, name one person who you know that actually controls people's emotions. Oh, I don't know. A certain black ink called Venom, he can control people's emotions. And what's crazy is he can actually convince people that life is meaningless and have them kill themselves. Really? Awesome. <laughs> Where can I get Venom? You can't. He's bonded to flame. And good luck trying to rip him apart. Because once, cause once Venom is bonded to him, there's no way he can get off of him. I mean... If I remember correctly, the symbiote will only detach from him if he want if it wants to. And since Venom and Flame, they're really good friends, I got the feeling that that's not going to be happening anytime soon. <sighs> anyway, let's just get on with this worthless game. Right. Anyway, here we go. Would you rather eat as much as you want without getting fat or have a talking dog? Well, who doesn't want a talking dog? That would be something, right? Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, but if you ask me, I would rather eat as much as I want without getting any weight. Well, Sonic, he already does that. Huh, you do not know how many chili dogs that guy can eat without gaining any weight at all. I mean, that's talent right there. I mean, speaking as a Sonic... I mean, it is pretty straightforward. I mean, we do run pretty fast. We burn off as much calories. We burn off we burn off more calories than any other person. Well, that is true. Anywho, um I guess I would eat as much as I want without, you know, gaining any weight, you know, getting fat. Besides, I got to keep my hourglass figure. I mean, who knows? I might run into somebody I like. Like me. No, not somebody like you. I'm trying to get away from you. Oh, come on. What about all the years you've been trying to get with me? Whatever happened to... Whatever happened to our little game, Rosie? I mean, come on. Oh, now you want to participate in it? Last time I checked, you were just trying to get away from me. You literally had me locked in your dungeon for months. With no food, no water, no sunlight, no nothing! That was just me being part of the game, okay? I mean, I was gonna let you out. Eventually. Uh, your lucky buns let me out. Anyway, I guess I would rather have a talking dog. Well, if you did have a talking dog, what type of dog would you want? <laughs> I would definitely get me a pit bull. Pit bulls, they're definitely dangerous. They're the most dangerous dog breed out there. Well, them and Rottweilers. So, between them, I would rather get a pit bull or a Rottweiler. Well, if you ask me, I would pick the blue option. <laughs> well, I'm picking the red. Anyway, let's see who's right. What the? <laughs> well, it looks like 53% agree with me. I mean, that's pretty much everybody's dream out there. Everybody wants to eat what they want without getting fat or anything. <laughs> Besides, everybody knows fat people make the best targets. I mean, just ask Smalls the cat. Oh, come on. Leave Anti-Big alone. I mean, he's in zone jail. Do you think he has it worse in there? Absolutely. I mean, we've both been to zone jail. Yeah, at least I got out on good behavior. What about you? You're the most dangerous version of Sonic in all throughout the multiverse. Well, unlike Sonic.exe, and he's good now! Uh, don't ever talk to me about him. I mean, he's just a wannabe creepypasta. Anyway, let's just continue on with this. Uh, anyway, oh wait, hang on, I gotta check something really quick. Okay, anyway, let's just continue on with this. Okay, here we go. Would you rather be the worst player on the best team or be the best player on a good team? Hmm, well, 
I guess I would rather be, um, the red option, I guess, I don't know. I guess I would be the red option. Hmm, if you ask me, I think they got the, uh, <laughs> I think they got the blue one in reverse. You mean, would you rather be the best player on the worst team? Because, hey, if I was the best player on the best team, on the worst team, everybody would be focusing on their attention on me. <laughs> like they should be. Anyway, anywho, I'm picking the red option. Reason why is because, hey, lots of good teams actually have some really good players. I mean, it doesn't matter if the player is good or bad or something like that, just as long as the team is having fun. Just as long as the team is having fun. Well, Rosie, you actually did change on me. I want the old Rosie back. Well, she's not coming back. The old me is actually just really, really crazy and obsessed with you. But now that flame opened up my eyes, I finally mellowed out. <sighs> it looks like when we get back to Anti-Mobius, I'm going to have to undo everything Flame has done to you. I mean, come on. Whatever happened to your hammer? I still have it, but instead of smashing random people, I'm smashing bad nicks. Uh, anyway, let's just pick... I'm picking the red option. Yep, 85% agree with me on this one. Uh, the other 15%. You guys are idiots. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's see the next one. Oh, uh, shoot. Ads. Flame warned me that there would be ads in this. Uh... At least this is one thing we can both agree on. We hate ads. Yeah, exactly. We hate them. Uh, come on, you stupid. Uh, uh, I'm getting mad. There. Finally, there. Just be patient. Huh. Scourge the Hedgehog is never patient. Yeah, trust me. I know. Anyway, would you rather be a zombie or be a vampire? Hmm. 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 I really don't know. That's actually a pretty hard one. <laughs> well, it's not too hard for me. I would rather be a vampire. I mean, come on. Everybody knows that vampires are really the most attractive monsters out there. Everybody knows that vampires are the most attractive monster out there. <sighs> for once... I'm going to have to agree with you, because honestly, I don't want to be a rotten corpse. A walking, talking, rotten corpse. Walking all over the place. So, yeah, I guess I would rather be a vampire. Plus, not to mention, I would make a really sexy vampire. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> you said it, baby. Get away from me! Get away from me! Uh, and it's too bad I didn't in the Ten Flames costume party during Halloween. I was going to go as a vampire anyway. Oh well, I was too busy. But anyway... But anyway, I guess we're both picking the same option. Yep, looks like it. Alright, let's see. Yep, it looks like 81% agree with both of us. People would rather be vampires over zombies. It's like I said, I don't think anybody wants to be a walking, talking corpse. <laughs> that makes the two of us. Okay, you know what, Scourge? How about you read the next one, since I've been reading them all? Uh, about time. I was waiting for my turn. Anyway, let's see. Would you rather be in a room full of spiders for a night, or be in a room full of snakes for a night? Hmm. I would rather be in a room full of spiders. I can easily squish them. Yeah, but here's the thing. Even when sometimes you squish a spider, they're still not dead. Okay, fine. Snakes, then. Snakes! Well, just as long as you don't step on them, you could be okay. But anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to pick the, uh, spiders. Huh. <laughs> You're such a weakling. Whatever happened to the strong Rosie? She's still inside me, but she's fighting for good now. Anyway, let's see. What?! <laughs> Looks like people want to take the high road and be in a room full of snakes. Huh. To all the people out there who are, you know, sleeping in there with snakes, you guys are crazy. 
I mean, who knows? Even if you don't mess with a snake, they could bite you or something. Uh, anyway, let's just continue on with this pathetic game. Ugh, more spiders and snakes. Wow. Okay, would you rather crawl through a pit of spiders or swim through a pool of snakes? Okay, both of which really don't make any sense. Well, I guess I would rather crawl through a pit of spiders. Because, hey, I can easily just brush the things off. Plus, not to mention, snakes? No. I mean, I do not like snakes. Oh, come on. Snakes are awesome and badass, like me. Yeah, that's why I don't like them. Anyway, let's see... What?! <laughs> Looks like part two with the snakes. <laughs> uh... Wow, you guys really like taking chances with snakes, don't you? Well, here's the thing. Most people don't like spiders more than they don't like snakes. Anyway, let's just continue on with this. Okay, here we go. Would you rather read one book a day for the rest of your life, or never read a book again? <laughs> I'm picking the red option. I hate reading. In fact, I hate read. Heck, I even hated reading that question. Anyway, I would rather pick the blue option. There's nothing like sitting down and reading a good book anyway. I mean, reading one book for the rest of your life? That's okay, I guess. I mean, there's nothing wrong, but I mean, guys, we can all agree. There's nothing like sitting back and relaxing with a good book. <laughs> it's like I said, like I said before, I hate reading. And I'm pretty sure lots of other people don't like reading either. Well, that's their opinion. Anyway, I'm picking the blue option. And I'm picking the red. All right, let's see. What? <laughs> people hate books. People hate books. Well, some people really do need to get back into their education. I mean, come on, guys, really? What is the... I mean, come on, guys, really? What is there against books? Well, there's one top thing that people are against books. They're boring! They're boring! Books are boring! Books are not boring, okay? Books are not boring. <laughs> if anything, you're boring. I mean, you're over here talking about you're going to be the king of anti-Mobius when it's the same story over and over and over and over and over and over again. You're never going to be the king of anti-Mobius. Heck, you're not even going to be the king of anti-anything! <laughs> Watch yourself, Pinky. Remember what, happened? Remember what happened to the last person who told me that? Yeah, you dr yeah, you killed him and buried his bones in the backyard. <laughs> yep, and he's still there to this day, being fertilizer for my garden. Okay, that's just dark. Uh, anyway, let's just continue. Okay, here we go. Would you rather blend, blending you, hang on, everything you eat be blended into a milkshake, or always have to have at least eight layers of clothes on. Wow, eight layers of clothes? Now that's going to be uncomfortable. Ugh. <laughs> I would rather have everything grinded into a milkshake. Okay, why exactly? <laughs> Because everybody knows that food in liquid in liquidated form, they're a whole lot more easier to eat. Plus, not to mention, when I eat chili dogs, it feels like I'm swallowing a giant cu Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! No need to say that! Remember? Family-friendly show? Uh, like I said, who gives a crap? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna have to agree with you. Besides, having eight layers of clothes, I mean, I, I mean, I do have to say, I do look cute in my clothes, and I do go shopping almost every day, but I don't think I would wear all eight outfits. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> Speaking of outfits, whatever happened to that yellow tutu and that white top that you used to wear? Come on, I used to love that outfit. Well, I like it too. But it reminded me too much of my times chasing after you. <laughs> anyway, let's just continue on with this. Fine. Yep, and it looks like 65% agree with us. <laughs> yeah, 
Actually, they do. Anyway, how many, okay, how many questions are we going up to? Well, I think we'll do two more and then the last one. Fine. All right, let's see. All right, would you rather spend a year in prison or spend two years in a coma? <laughs> I already spent one year in prison. Yeah, same here. And besides, and besides, being in a coma can be a whole lot more dangerous than being in prison. I mean, come on. Some people, they hardly ever wake up from a coma. It usually takes them like a year or something, or two years or three years to ever wake up. <laughs> and you think a coma... <laughs> besides, a coma is a cakewalk. Besides, a coma is cakewalk. I mean... I mean, a coma, please. That's obviously a walk through the park compared to zone jail. I mean, come on, zone jail, it's an absolute hell. I don't know. I got off easy in there. Huh, that's because you're a girl. Sexist bastards. Sure, just because I'm a guy, I get to have the rough treatment. But for you, you're a woman. Besides, everybody knows that the women in the jail actually always get the good stuff. I mean, they get to have TVs in their cells. They get to have, like, they get to have menu options. And everything, but for guys, huh, we use, we always eat the same thing. While girls get, they get to eat whatever they want. Plus, not to mention, they get to watch TV while they're in their cell. Come on, this is supposed to be a place for punishment, not pleasure. Well, at least, like I said, at least I got off easy in there. Huh, whatever. Anyway, huh, since I spent one year in zone jail. Uh, I guess I would rather go back to being in zone jail than being in a coma. Just as long as I don't have to see Zonic again. Oh yeah, Zonic. He has it out for you. Yeah, and I'll never forget that collar clamp that he put on me years ago. <laughs> you mean that collar clamp that sustained your speed? Exactly. Anyway, I would rather go back to zone jail too. I mean, I don't want to take a risk of going in a coma. Because if I go into a coma, I'll never get to see Flame, or Sonic, or Amy, or any of my other friends. <laughs> Please. You're so weak. Anyway, let's just pick this. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> well, it looks like going back to Zone Jail will, will not only be... I guess going back to Zone Jail won't be so bad after all. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, let's see. Next question. Okay, so would you rather be a cat or be a dog? Hmm, I guess I would rather be a cat. Cats, they're a whole lot more sly, sneaky, and plus not to mention, I can see why women always dress up in, like, cat outfits. Because, dare I say, they're really sexy. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna barf. Ugh. If you ask me, I would rather be a dog. You know, the more dangerous and dominant one. Come on, everybody knows that dogs are better than cats anyway. Well, unlike cats, well, unlike dogs, cats, they, at least they don't, at least they don't pee or poop all over the place. Huh. But here's the thing with cats. Cats really don't like their owners. Everybody knows that. I mean, come on. Look, look, that all depends on what kind of cat. I mean, most cats, they always have attitudes. Uh, whatever, cat lover. Whatever you say, dog lover. Uh, anyway, I'm picking cat. I'm picking dog. All right, let's see. And it looks like 70% would rather be a dog than a cat. <laughs> Besides, everybody, besides, like I said, everybody will want to be the dominant one. Anyway, I believe this is the last question to determine whether or not you go back to anti-Mobius with me. Exactly. I really do hope I don't go back. Please, I hope I don't go back. I hope I don't go back. Just get to the last question already. Uh, fine. Anyway, let's see. Okay, would you rather lose your, um... Uh, I don't know what the heck a form finger is, so I'm gonna skip this. Let's see. Ah, here we go. 
So, would you rather be the smartest moron or be the dumbest genius? Well, I wouldn't exactly call myself smart or something. I mean, I can be dumb sometimes. I can admit that. And, hey, I may be dumb sometimes, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. So, I guess I would rather be the red option. The... Be the dumbest genius. I mean, hey, sometimes Tails, he could be a dummy, and he's a genius. <laughs> Not like Miles. Miles is a whole lot more smarter than Tails. Why do you think he's my tactician and my planner? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, let's... Anyway, so what are you picking? <laughs> I would rather be a smart moron. <laughs> Aren't you already? Uh, okay, that's it. Just click the thing to see who wins this thing. All right, fine. All right, fine. Anyway, looks like the winner of this game of Would You Rather is... Me! Ha! I don't get to go back to Anti-Mobius with you! Yes! Uh, you know what? Forget this deal. You're coming with me anyway, Rosie. Hey, get your hands off me! You heard the lady. Get off of her. What the? Flame, when did you get here? I came by here to see if Rosie was okay. I just got back from the... Z I just got back from the Supersonic X Universe universe with Sarah. Good news, she's a goddess. But I came here because I sensed you were in the area. So I suggest you better get out of here before I send you to hell. <laughs> You can't send me the hell. Everybody knows that you won't kill me. That's true. I won't kill you. But that doesn't mean I can't send you back to Anti-Mobius and take away your portal rings. Or, not to mention, I can take away your speed. Huh. I like to see you try and take away my speed. Oh, is that a challenge? Huh. Try me! There. Speed's mine now. What the? Darn it! Now how am I supposed to get back to Anti-Mobius? Allow me. Allow me. I'm gonna do a move that you taught me, Flame. Chaos Control! Wow. You actually learned Chaos Control pretty well. Yeah, thanks. Because I had a great teacher. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, I know. I am a really great teacher, aren't I? Yeah, and a really good friend. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Uh, no problem. I mean, I came by here to uh, check on all of you. I can't. I mean, hey, just because you guys are antis, that doesn't mean I don't care about you. Ah, that's really sweet. Plus, not to mention you, Buns, Alicia, and Fiona. You two are the best anti friends I ever had. Ah. Now come here, Rosie. Where is that hug? Right over here, big boy. Ah, <laughs> man. You're really great. Better than the real Amy? Eh, I'll give you a 9 out of 10. Sounds fair. Anyway, anyway, Flame saved the day again. <laughs> yep. And also, guys, yep, great news. Sarah is now a god. This, but we just don't know what she's going to be the goddess of. She still hasn't, uh, you know, picked her title yet. She just hasn't picked her title yet. I don't know. Hey, I have an idea. How about you guys give her some suggestions down in the comments down below? Yeah, that would be a great idea. Well, anyway, Psycho Crew. Anyway, Psycho Crew, looks like we've reached the end of this and of this, uh... Would You Rather video. And guess what? I'm staying on Mobius forever. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comment section, unfortunately, if you want Scourge to come back. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, he doesn't succeed in his plan. Wait, you didn't tell him about, you didn't tell him about the resistance against his plan, did you? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, cool, thank God. Whew. Okay, well, um, is there anything else you'd like to say, Rosie? Well, I believe, uh, oh yeah, and if you guys aren't already subscribed to Flame's channel, 
please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be updated whenever he posts. Oh, and also put down in the comments section if you guys want me to host another video because I haven't exactly got to host a video before. Flame, you would not know how nervous I was. Well, it looks like you handled yourself pretty well. Yeah, but Scourge almost took me back to Anti-Mobius. Looks like I'm gonna need some more training. Don't worry, I'll help you. I mean, after all, we are really good friends. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm getting really tired of girls kissing me out of nowhere. Sorry, that was just a friendly kiss. That was just completely out of nowhere, sorry. Okay, well, anyway, I guess this is Flame the Dragon Hog. And Rosie the Rascal. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Goodbye, my psycho crew.